hello everyone and welcome to the channel so legends of ruin terror just got updated we got our patch notes finally 2.5 it's been a while since the uh, shurima launch and uh, a lot of things happened a lot of nerfs a couple of champions got nerfed and we're gonna see that in a second we're just gonna skip through these uh this nonsense we're just gonna go straight to the champions so starting with twisted fate so twisted fate is uh, no longer an eight like a uh, conditioned card now you have to draw nine cards which is a huge nerf, bro, because uh, Twisted Fate has been like uh, getting uh, too OP because of the new uh, cards that allow you to uh, to draw a lot. So you keep drawing and drawing and drawing, so it's easily uh, it's easily like uh, leveled up, and uh, it's become a problem. Uh, Twisted Fate is one of the like highest like winning decks, like Twisted Fate and Fizz, and uh, it's it became a huge problem, especially as like uh, as I say here, this is especially important for us to keep an eye on. Given both current and potential future content that involves card draw, so Legends of Ruin Dera uh, is uh, is basically like it's it's based on <laughs> drawing cards. So in the future we're gonna get like a bunch more uh, card drawing types, <laughs> and uh, anything that draws cards it's gonna straight uh, it's it's going straight to uh, to power up Twisted Fate. So yeah, so they had to uh, nerf them a little bit. So now you have to draw nine cards to level them up, which is uh, not a huge nerf, but it's uh, it's a needed nerf. So yeah, that's Twisted Fate. As for Fiora, ooh, she's been hit by the nerf hammer very bad. Now she's not, uh, she's no longer a 3-3, now she's a 3-2, which makes her uh, really weak and no more, no, no more the, the OP Fiora that really gets rid of all your, uh, your 1-1, uh, uh, your 1-1 like uh, uh, units or your 2-1 units. So now she she can be killed by any by any two attack power uh, unit, which is which which is insane. So now Fiora, like you need, you need to really really protect her. You need a lot of barriers. You need a lot of protection, just to get her to level up and like get her four kills. So now she has to be uh, like any Fiora player has been has to be really careful with her. So they cannot they cannot just put Fiora down and just dominate the field with their spells. And you as a player you can counter her pretty easily. Uh, if you're smart, just don't put any uh, any one one cards. Uh, you can you can uh, like before if you if you if you face a Fiora, you can you cannot put any any of your one one card or your two one cards. So no two attack power card and no one attack power card because Fiora is simply gonna attack them and like kill them, and that will contribute to her winning condition, which is a problem. So now you can at least play your two one car, uh, cost cards. So now you, you know, now you can like outplay her. And you can plan uh, plan ahead. She can, she can even be killed by the by the drag uh, drag unit, which got buffed. We'll see that in a moment. So yeah, that's Fiora. As for Jarvan, he got some love finally. So Jarvan as a six uh, six cost unit, it, it's it's well, it was like a little bit underwhelming to have him like a, a five three card. So five attack, three HP. Uh, it was too low for six uh, six uh, six cost unit. Now he's a six four, which is great. It's way better. Which is which is way better, excuse me. So now at least you get that uh, six attack power, which allows you to kill like uh, units with six uh, with six HP uh, defense uh, or HP, uh, like uh, like uh, Thrando, like uh, an, uh, a leveled up Garen, uh, a leveled up Azir. So now he he can kill a bunch more units, and uh, it's safe for you to attack and have him like uh, like show up. So it's not it's not going to be like a useless champion to have as a six cost. Because like the idea of of like these uh, these attack champions, like when when you play Jarvan, uh, you literally have to use like six mana just to play him when you attack. So you're already out of mana. There are no no really no real combat tricks if you if you play Jarvan on uh, at uh, at uh, round six. So it's a problem. And yeah, this should buff him up a little bit and make him a little bit more playable. I haven't seen a lot of Jarvan players, but uh, now he should be more playable. Also, uh, <laughs> Shivana got like both a buff and a nerf. So the buff is that she got Fury now. So whenever she uh, she kills a unit, she gains one uh, plus one plus one. But she is no longer a four four card. Now she's a three four. So she needs to kill one unit to get back to her original state, which was a four four. And from that, you can just keep uh, keep uh, um, like uh, adding more power to her. So it's a bu it's a buff and a nerf at the same time. So as you can see, even her leveled up version is now uh, no longer a 5-5, but a 4-5. So now Fiora has, uh, like, uh, not Fiora, Shivana has the Fury. <laughs> uh, so, so now she can scale up a lot, which is which, which is huge. But 
she cannot like uh, she cannot be like a too too strong of a unit uh, when you when you put her down. But still, like a four cost unit, like any any other four cost unit that that you can put down already has four attacks. So if you if you put down uh, Shivana, I keep saying Fiora because of the Fury, <laughs> because of the Fury underneath her name. I keep looking at Fury and saying Fiora. So if you put on Shivana at uh, as a as a four cost. It's a huge problem because like any forecast that your enemy plays, especially if they're good, like uh, outscales Fiora a lot. So it's a problem. She needs needs like some support cards, in my opinion. What else do we have? Lulu. Lulu is no longer a two three, but a three three card. So that 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 allows you to attack. Like before, when you attack with Lulu, you are expecting her to die, and you're expecting her to to die to a lot of a lot of things, a lot of weak cards. But now, as a 3-3, three, three, she, uh, she at least has a chance of survival, which is pretty dope. Lulu is pretty OP, uh, OP like, uh, annoying uh, champion. Also, Twisted Fate's uh, card I got uh, nerfed to... Uh, uh, not nerfed, got upgraded to a 2-cost, so it's no longer a 3-cost card, which is pretty dope. So now, like, Twisted Fate, uh, it's true that you can you can no longer, like, uh, up, uh, upgrade him. At, or level him up at uh, by drawing eight cards, but now we have to draw nine. But at the very least, his uh, his uh, pick a card is now a two cost, which is which is a, a little upgrade <laughs> that allows him to be balanced a little bit. We'll see about this in the in the current meta. And finally, the wiggly uh, burble fish has been uh, nerfed. Finally, this has been a pain in the ass for so long. Base stats three one now became two one, so now it's a little bit weaker. And uh, you cannot just like uh, as if you read the the card uh, like uh, uh, the card description. If you guys are not familiar with Wiggly Burblefish, uh, reduce my cost by one for each spell you've cast this game. When I'm summoned, create in your hand a one cost uh, spell from your regions. So this goes uh, well with uh, Twisted Fate, or Fizz, or even uh, even Jinx. Uh, so you, the idea is for you to use a bunch of cards, uh, a bunch of uh, spells, use a lot, a lot, a lot, and then it becomes it costs zero. So you have a triple wiggle, wiggly fish that costs zero, and each wiggly fish has three attack power and they're elusive. Plus you add the spell Mind Melt, which upgrades, which uh, increases the uh, the uh, the total power and uh, HP of all your units, but uh, like times times the spells that you've cast this game. So if you cast like six spells, it adds six six to them. So it becomes a, a huge problem, it makes them a one turn kill unit, which is which is uh, problematic to say the least. So yeah. Uh, she got, it got nerfed, which is which is great. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is the drag dredgers. Uh, finally, it got it got buffed a little bit. I play, I have like my own uh, my own deep deck, so I I I used to use it a lot. And uh, this unit it was so underwhelming. I only like played so as it was one one. So I only played like to uh, to toss uh, three cards, and then it becomes like fodder for any any other <laughs> for any other unit, like literally. But now finally finally it's a two one. It's back to being a two one. And now you can at least like fight a lot of units with it. Like any any other unit can be can be killed. This guy can kill Fiora. If you add like single combat to him and you challenge Fiora, you can kill her with this guy with this one cost unit. So yeah. Uh, other than that, the Dreadway card finally got some uh, some little nerfs, I guess you could say. So it's no longer a nine cost. Now it's an eight cost, and the base stats changed from four eight to four six. So this this uh, unit is very problematic because it doubles all damage dealt by your skills, spells, and allies. And when you play when you play it, you can draw a, a GP. So this unit this uh, this card uh, used to be used to like drain away your enemy HP by by summoning like any 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 like gigantic unit that does that does direct nexus damage, and it's it's been overpowered a lot but now as a six hp card it can be really it can be uh, taken care of really easily so yeah that's been nerfed also shadow assassin finally got some love so now it's no longer a one two but a two one elusive so at least now when you, when you summon her it's not like uh it's a three cost so it has to have like a little a little bit of a, a little bit of a attack power right so it's a two one now when you summon her you draw a card and you can you can attack directly as an elusive which is pretty dope Fey Guide is uh, has been changed <laughs> from uh, the base stats of three three to a three four. So when when you play her, you uh, you grant an ally elusive, and uh, it's it's finally like a a good card to have. It's a three four. Now when you put a four cost card, you can just have it as uh, as as a real threat on the board, and you can grant one of your allies elusive. So yeah, 
So now it's a pretty worth, uh, pretty worth card to play. Uh, Legion Rear Guard is now uh, back to 3-2. So from 3-1 uh, to 3-2, uh, these uh, Noxian, Noxian or Damasian? I always confuse those two. I'm pretty sure it's Damasian. No, it's Noxus. It's Noxian, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the Noxian cards has been, uh, have been buffed. So uh, this card cannot block to one cost. It, it's basically there to attack. So it's got a buff to its uh, to its HP. So now when it's attack, like it cannot die to any one cost or or like uh, that uh, that card that uh, spider card that drains that drains like one HP and summons a spider link. I forget its name. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's been buffed. You can you can probably play a lot of Noxus now to, because of this. Like imagine this is your one cost card. This is this is your your turn one card a three two, which is nuts. Of course, you cannot block on your turn, but you can you can still destroy the enemy Nexus, and you can attack, keep attacking, keep attacking until they decide to, to to get rid of your one cost. Like literally, it costs you one mana jam, so uh, it's problematic. Uh, it's problematic to say the least. Also, finally, Sea Scarab has been buffed. Uh, this is a deep card. It's one of the latest additions uh, in the in the uh, in the last patch. It's one of my favorite cards for deep decks. It's it's great for. Uh, for Maokai decks and uh, uh, Nautilus decks, it's really really cool. So it used to be like a one-two, which was uh, like it's uh, it's very weak as a card. It's a two-cost card. It's a two-cost card can be destroyed for pretty easily. Uh, but now, as a two-three, it can actually stand. Uh, it's can it can actually withstand at least two attacks. So that's pretty dope. You can keep it there, uh, and uh, as you watch your ally die, or as you like attack with ephemeral uh, ephemeral type like. Uh, like spider links and stuff like that uh, or uh, saplings uh, you will keep tossing and tossing and you will hit deep really really soon and it will gain uh, a 3-3 three, three, uh, addition so it becomes a 5-6 unit which is which is a lot <laughs> so yeah if you manage to keep this card uh, uh, on the board and now you can as a 2-3 ca card uh, it becomes a real problem so that's pretty dope uh, esteemed aerophant got got uh, buffed a little bit i guess when i'm summoned advance your burn disc two rounds and now when he's summoned he advances the disc three rounds so so the um, the sun disc uh what's it called landmark uh when, the, when you summon this guy right here he advances the countdown for that landmark um uh, by three three counts so at least he's doing something now. I don't know. I don't think people are, are gonna play him for that. It's not it's not a useful card in my opinion. Not yet. They should make it like either either a super buffed card, like he advances the uh, the uh, the sun disc like uh, like four turns or five turns and make him like a a six cost card. That would be dope. That would be a worth uh, a card worth having. Like if you are at turn six and your your landmark is is like you need you need six more turns to to have it like uh, uh, unleashed. Uh, you can drop this guy. So yeah, I think they should they should change the cost, and I think they should uh, change the uh, the they, they should up the number a little bit of rounds. So yeah, also they uh, the buff <laughs> they buff this guy right here, but I don't think I don't think people are gonna play her. Uh, the base stats changed from C uh, six three to six four, so now she has a four um uh, four HP uh, four HP cost, but I don't think people are gonna play her. It's bit. It's it's a pretty bad card, really, unless you're running like a reputation a reputation deck that has a lot of uh, uh, five uh, five attack uh, power uh, uh, units like uh, like LeBlanc or uh, like cards like that or Noxian Noxian like Noxian decks. You could run this card there because it becomes it costs two, so it's not like a, it's not a very costly card. But if you're on any other deck, like even a Shurima deck, it's not worth having this card. Uh, it's simply not. Also, Aphelius just got uh, <laughs> just got nerfed a lot. Uh, so all of his um, all of his like uh, Calibrum, Severum, Infernum, Gravitum, all of his like spell cards are no longer a two cost, but now a three cost. So that's great. So now you like you cannot like you cannot spam these these uh, these super like uh, uh, not helpful, super useful, uh, super useful cards. So you can you can you can give life steal. You can add power. You can destroy. Uh, you can deal three power to uh, three damage to a follower. You can stun. You can give an ally overwhelm and uh, power. You can even summon two cost follow. It's very versatile and it's a, a huge pain in the ass. If you summon Aphelios, you can just keep spamming these two cost, two cost, two cost. It costs you only two mana and you can refund that mana. So it's a very huge problem. But now it's a three cost, so you can at most play three, uh, two of these cards uh, in a turn at the early turns. 
uh, or maybe pro probably you, you can only use one <laughs> so you have to be really careful you have to choose what you're gonna use and at least this nerf nerfs him a little bit which is great but of course they had to balance a little bit so now the pick a moon weapon to create a hand so if you want uh, if you want to use this card right here to pick one of these moon weapons I forgot the name but they're called moon weapons uh, it, it's no longer a two cost so it's a one cost so you can at least shuffle these back also, the Veil Temple has been uh, nerfed, so it's it no longer gives the strongest uh, ally. So if you if you uh, play two, if you play two cards, your uh, your strongest ally gains plus one plus one. This was uh, what the previous card did, but now it just gives you plus one attack. So that's that's great. That's that's freaking great. <laughs> I really hated this Veil Temple. It's a great addition to the game, like as as a concept, but it made it uh, extremely annoying to deal with units being buffed by. Uh, through HP and attack just by without doing anything they uh, they they you just have to play two uh, spells or two cla or two cards it literally refills your mana and gives uh, your strongest ally plus one plus one so it's a problem so now it's just a plus one so yeah that's great also the lab of legends got updated and the ultra rapid draw has been uh, added to the uh, to the, uh, uh, to the to the lab so now there's a there's a uh, there's a function or uh, a game mode where there is an ultra rapid draw so you draw a lot of cards uh, really really fast you have to win really really fast and the united font v pvp has been updated so that's great also what's what's really great is the lab of legends being upgraded, up, updated so now there are difficulty level difficulty levels and uh, at least there's a reason to play lab of legends now so yeah that's it uh other than that we got some new cosmetics i really like this design i don't know what it's called it's called planet earth Ooh, that's nice so it's got like this golden theme we got a golden earth uh, card back so that's that's great i really like it i really really like it who who doesn't want to fight in a golden arena right and the guardian is an earth that that is a fish right yeah he hits it with his paddle and eats it <laughs> okay and this is the card back right here pretty nice and this is the emote big flex all right and da, 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 coins okay does not matter and yeah that's it that's it for uh for today's patch uh as you can see affilios got nerfed uh shivana got buffed who else uh lulu got buffed jarvin got buffed fiora got super nerfed and uh um tf got a little bit balanced so yeah uh, that's it for today i hope you guys enjoy this uh kind of video i don't really do a lot of legends of ruin terror uh videos maybe maybe i should if if i should <laughs> please let me know in the comment description below i uh, i do have a bunch of decks i do i do play uh, i do play the the game i run uh, uh i run deep uh decks uh freylor decks and like uh, the new lissandra uh, lissandra decks azir uh hecarim Nasus level up uh, decks a bunch of others <laughs> so uh, I really like the game I really do play the game on my spare time but I don't know if I should like make videos on it I don't know how well it's gonna do so maybe I'll try to make a video or two and see how well the video does and from that I'll judge uh, I'll judge by myself so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye